I could run, that would be just splendid. Hey. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. Seen that look before. Son of a bitch. See too, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy too. Once. Probably had a nice job and a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. Ah. Oh. I think it needs food or something. Mm. Well, picking it up always works. Oh, can I stick on my tongue now? Please. Please. Seems like you've done that before. It's not rocket science. Want to try? Want to try? No way. It's going to puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Mm. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's <laughs> not gonna puke. Oh! It puked. Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. <laughs> he was a douchebag. <laughs> anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. Ooh. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. Had to try. They had to try, right? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. Yeah, Kenny! He got it working. But that noise is gonna attract walkers. It works. But I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? Not much. Let's just get out of the snow. I'm all for that. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Mm. Texas? The fuck? <laughs> it was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Oh, no. Wellington? We're gonna freeze. Hey, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. Nah, man, this is fucking nuts. Team Kenny. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? 
Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going Oh. Outside. The RV. God damn it! You can't just walk away from us. I'll talk to him. Kenny always listens to me. You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. <laughs> Mike, what the fuck happened to your ear, man? <laughs> Maybe that's why you have such a screw up your ass. God damn it. God damn it! That stupid fucking. Oh. Get the fuck out of here! It's me. Clem. Sorry, just give me a second. Oh, what happened? Don't pick at it, man. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. <laughs> I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? Oh. A lot of folks died to make that happen. You shouldn't have. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. Me too. What do you think he'd say? Do not... Oh... I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You I know. When I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. Uh, I felt pride, a pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There I have to be folks doing better than us. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. I got you, Kenny. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on. Let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. You know, on second thought, I'm pretty sure Lee would have beaten the shit out of him by now. <laughs> and just like on the train. Uh. See, now all these, like, previous decisions are actually coming back. That's what I felt was missing in the previous episodes. Or in episode 4, at least. <laughs> that could be the wind, or it could be the signal! Oh, 
Okay, God. Oh, God. Holy shit. No, they're tampering with that shit. Oh, wait, I thought that was Jane. Mike. Easy. Easy now. What? Step back. What the fuck, Mike? Shit. I liked you, man. What are you doing? What the fuck? I got the rest of it. Yo! Yo! No. No. That that is not Keep fair. Down, all right. Nobody else has to get involved. Bullshit. We have. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? No, they're gonna ask me to go with them. Clem, damn it, just we don't have time for this. Just just be quiet, Clem, please. You can't tell me what to do. I have to tell Kenny. Alright, Clem. That's what I fucking thought. That's what I fucking thought. You don't fuck with me. Walk up to you nice and slow. And you're gonna Let me come home, gun, okay? And then we'll talk. Why are you doing this? He didn't give us any choice. You shit. I don't know what I'm you said. Sorry, Clem. Just give me the gun, Clem. No. I'm not gonna hurt you. You don't. Easy. I'll shoot. Just oh, yo, Arvo, you shit! Clint, Clint. Fine, if you have to go. Don't you touch me! I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean for this to happen. What the fuck? I'm bleeding out, man. What the fuck did you do? Oh. <gasps> what did you do? Oh. Holy shit, I got shot. I got shot. Clementine. Oh, flashback. Holy shit. No way. No fucking way. It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. <laughs> Holy shit. Fucking cry. Leonie. What was it about? Fucking Ben! I missed you, Ben! He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. It's not like a cold. No, it's probably not. Oh, this is what everybody wanted! To be Clementine in season I one. Feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Ah. Oh, that's okay, honey. You didn't mean it. <laughs> I did. Okay. <laughs> Lee. Holy oh, shit! I can't believe it. Why did Lily do that to Doug? Oh, this is the. Oh, yeah, cause. I don't know. In, in the random choices. She was sad, that can make people angry sometimes. It must have been Doug. That's a dumb reason because of her dad. I have to act like Clementine. Because of her dad. Yeah. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? Oh. Maybe. Clementine would say maybe. It was a hard thing to do. 
Oh, and this one we left her ass. Yeah, yeah, we left her ass, I forgot. <laughs> I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> <laughs> me too, sweet pea. Hey, me three. <laughs> Yeah, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? Give me the shaman! That you won't leave me. That you won't leave me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I promise. What Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> now let's try to get some sleep. Oh, so this happened. Okay, Lee. When they went to sleep, and then that's when Lee had the bad dream. Oh, it makes sense. Oh, this is so cute. So cute. Oh, on the left. Let's go. Hey, we left. Nice. Slow down. Shut up. Mm. Jane Bonnie. Oh, She's Mike away. left. Mike left. Mike betrayed us. Why, Urban? Why? Oh, damn. A little more to the center and would have hit my heart. Hey, you. Clam. Oh, thank right. God. You passed out from the shock. Where are we? Been driving a few hours now. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? Not the I urban! Tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. Is Bonnie okay? They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? What the fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. And it was overrun by a damn herd. I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Jackass. <laughs> still can't hear you. Look, <laughs> even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to house in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. <laughs> Let's play a game, Clem. I spy with my little eye an asshole. Oh! <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> now, I'll pull this fucking Touch car over. Go ahead. You want to die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly. Pay attention you. to Nothing. the road. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Shut up. Shut up. Both of you. Stay out of this, Clam. Don't tell her what to do. Oh. You, me. you mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, 
You still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita got bit, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. Jane, Kenny loves Sarita. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. That's why he loves this kid so much. It can't talk back yet. Fuck Oof. you. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't Mike, true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. You fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're going to end up dead. So we knew it. I know it. Shut up. And so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Jesus. Damn. You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny. Ah. Oh, you didn't give me a chance to say anything, man. That fucking asshole. 